Good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Thursday, October 29th, the feast day of Saint Narcissus of Jerusalem. And he was a bishop of Jerusalem in the late second century. And um, just in case you don't know, the city of Jerusalem, of where Jesus was crucified and died for our sins, and really the the foundation of Christianity. Um, it's always been under fire, much like Christianity, even in modern times. Um, not much has changed from over 2,000 years ago. But in case you did not know, during its long history, Jerusalem has been destroyed twice. It has been besieged 23 times, and it's been attacked 52 times, and been captured and recaptured 44 times. So Jerusalem has had a lot going on in its history. Um, and St. Narcissus was a, a bishop of Jerusalem, as I already mentioned, and he is said to have uh, been a miracle worker, and then he actually left as bishop and then came back, um, and they wanted him to take that over again. Um, so there we go. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 13, verses 31 through 35. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. At that time, some, some Pharisees came to him and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go out and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow, and on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you are unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned, but I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. A lot going on with Jerusalem today, with St. Narcissus. And then now we've got this gospel here from Luke and the lament over Jerusalem. Uh, but then also Jesus saying um, he's not going to leave. Um, in fact, the footnote here in, in, the, in my Bible here is pretty interesting. It says nothing, not because keep in mind the Pharisees came to warn Jesus to get out because Herod was going to attack or to capture him. Um, but it, it says here, nothing, not even Herod's desire to kill Jesus, stands in the way of Jesus' rule in fulfilling God's will and in establishing the kingdom through his exorcisms and healings. So, pretty intense. Nothing can stop Jesus, even though somebody's going to go to kill him. Uh, you know, uh, he knew he was going to be captured, but he knew that was God's will. And I try to put myself in Jesus' shoes Literally and figuratively sometimes. And, uh, yeah, props to him because I don't know how I'd react in ways that he did. Um, so he is the ultimate man's man, and he's not afraid of anything, and he will do anything uh, to fulfill, fulfill God's will. He's got a goal. His goal in mind is to fulfill God's will, which should be our goal as well. Um, and that's going to go into our challenge. So, um you know, it's just relative, you know, what drives you? What is your goal? And do, is it something you're so passionate about that you will do anything it takes to reach that goal? It could be any goal, something as big, as small as you want. Um, whether it's to stop doing something, uh, maybe a bad habit, or maybe it's to start praying more, or maybe it's to get a promotion, or maybe it's to go on, be able to save some money to go on a family vacation big family vacation once coronavirus is over, you know, whatever it might be. Um, we all need to have goals that drive us. No matter how old we are, how young we are, we got to have goals. Without goals, you know, what gives us purpose? So that's something to think about today. What is What current goal are you working towards? And how's it going? Is it going well? Is it going poorly? Is it a smart goal? Smart goal? You know, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely, um, things that we can uh, go through today and every day. Have a great day. God bless, and keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.